Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we're going to be driving on Back Road or Fort Augusta Drive, which is in Portmore. We just exited the Portmore Expressway onto Fort Augusta Drive and we're going to take our drive through and it will lead us to Port Henderson Road. Alright, so this is what they call a back road area. And there are many stories as to why they call it back road but it has a lot of restaurants hotels motels a lot of places where you can have parties it's a very busy place especially at night a lot of activity a lot of bars a lot of restaurants Probably like the hip strip in Portmore. Very busy place. And then on the left is the sea, the ocean. So it's a very nice place if you want to come and eat. Although when you think of food in Portmore, the place that pops into your mind first is Elsha. Portmore is a very one of the most populated towns in Jamaica and somebody made a very good point Portmore but Portmore officially is a municipality I'm not sure why what's the difference between that and a city but somebody had mentioned in the comment section that Portmore should be a city but Portmore is so has so many people the population of Portmore is so large that Portmore is going to become the 15th parish in Jamaica everything has been agreed upon there's no opposition to it so it's just for the formalities to be done the government has signaled that they are ready to make Portmore the 15th parish the opposition has not objected so I'm not sure what the process is if it has to be a bill in parliament or if the governor general has to do it I'm not sure what the procedure is, but whatever the procedure is, it's on the way. Okay, on the left is where persons come to buy fish. It's like a little fishing village. Okay, we said back road is like um, the hip strip. But back road, another, a better example of back road could be like a red light district because it's very famous for certain activities. So it's a mix between a hip strip and a red light district. That might be a better example. All right, on the left is a hotel. Um, it's not operating now. I don't remember the name of it. If anybody remembers the name of that hotel, and if they could tell us what happened to it, I'm not sure. It's very strange that you see a hotel closed down. Mark you, it's very strange you see a hotel in Portmore to begin with. But they had a hotel in downtown Kingston, so that one was the Oceana Hotel. I think it was the only hotel in downtown Kingston. And it closed down, I'm not sure why. The building was being used as the Ministry of Health building. And it was recently taken over by the ROK Kingston Hotel and it's been renovated now and it should be up and running very soon. So this hotel, I'm not sure what happened. If anybody knows the story behind it, let us know. Maybe it's like activities going on over there if that's the hotel. Maybe this is not where you drive to go to the hotel. but. I'd love to know the story because it looks like it's been renovated which will be very nice because there are no hotels in Portmore of the size of that one and oh my god I don't know if you consider this a road let this car pass us I'm not sure what's down there all right we're here 
Let's go take a look. Looks like it's a beach. I mean, in Jamaica, I personally think like a pickup or a SUV is the best car to drive because of the condition of the roads. And I can tell you this road, unless that hotel opens back up and this is the entrance, this road leads you to the hotel. This road might not be fixed for right now. I would love to know what the procedure is for maintaining these roads, honestly. And who? Who is responsible for maintaining these roads? Some roads, people say is the parish council, some roads say is the government of Jamaica. Okay, here you can see the ocean. Wow, here my ocean. Caribbean Sea. <laughs> okay, there's no Caribbean Ocean. And okay, very nice. Wow. I've never been on this side of Port Moore before. No, you can I can understand why they would build a hotel at this point because it's very scenic. Okay, we're not going any further because as we said, these roads are terrible. Okay, it's like some sort of restaurant out there because they have tables set up. Very nice. And you can park up here and just look at the beach. Very nice. This seems to be a popular road because cars are going up there. Okay, wait, I think I know this restaurant. Um, a very popular restaurant now that I, I look at it if anybody knows the name of this restaurant you can let us know in the comment section but it's a very popular restaurant I just cannot remember the name right now I've actually been there already the food is very nice a long time ago but look at this road oh my god no seriously and another reason why Portmore should become a parish is that they would no longer be under the control of the St. Catherine Parish Council. Because clearly St. Catherine is a large parish. Huge. A lot of different communities. And although Portmore has the largest... Ooh, hear me. Actually Portmore does not even have the largest population in St. Catherine. Spanish Town does. So obviously the resources that Portmore should get are probably being I don't know but I don't know but I think it's a good idea for Portmore to become a parish because of the amount of persons that live here and how large a community is Spanish Town is as although it has more people it's not as laid out as Portmore alright guys Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.